Hello and welcome to the trigonometry video series. This is video one. We're talking about naming the sides in right angle triangles today. When we name the sides in right angle triangles, uh, there's a particular order that makes it helpful for us. The steps are, well, the hypotenuse. We'll name the hypotenuse first because it's always the longest side of any right angle triangle. So we'll look for the longest side and call it the hypotenuse and put an H there. The opposite side is opposite the particular angle we are working from. In this case uh, there's a symbol called theta there. It's a Greek symbol that represents a missing angle or an angle that we don't know the size of yet. Um, and so we'll put an arrow <coughs> to the opposite side of the triangle to indicate that that's the, uh, we, that's the side we're going to call the opposite side. So it depends on where the angle is we're working from as to where we position the uh, the O for opposite. And by a process of elimination uh, we'll call the adjacent side the side that's left over after we've already named the hypotenuse and the opposite side. So we've positioned the hypotenuse on the longest side, the opposite on the opposite side which makes sense, and the adjacent uh, is right next to the angle um, and uh, and we'll put an A there as well. Now having a look at uh, a different triangle, it looks like the same triangle, but we're going to be working from uh, the top left hand um, angle this time. So that'll make a bit of a difference and we'll, we'll just see which, uh, which sides it makes a difference to. First off, step one, the hypotenuse is still the longest side, so we'll put an H on the longest side there. Now, the opposite um, side that we're going to look at is opposite on the opposite side of the triangle from the angle we are considering at the time. So at this time the opposite uh, side is on the bottom there. And now it's different to the triangle above because uh, we're working from a different angle this time. And the adjacent side is the one that's left over. So in an interesting sort of way the hypotenuse stays in exactly the same spot it's really, it's always on the longest side of any right angle triangle. But the opposite and adjacent sides really depend on the angle we're considering at the time. In the top triangle, the angle that we named as the opposite side was on the left because um, we were working from the bottom right hand angle. And on the bottom triangle there, the opposite ended up being on the bottom of the triangle because we were working from that top left hand angle. So we just have to be a little careful. But it's important to name the hypotenuse first, then the opposite side, and the one that's left over after we've done those two sides is called the adjacent side. And then we can start working with the different trigonometry ratios we'll see in the future videos. So thanks for listening. That's naming the sides of right angle triangles and that'll get us started with trigonometry.